Welcome to Greg and Mortis's Little World of Horror. This is my Blu-ray update for Sunday, November 16th. Very excited to have another update coming up for you guys and gals out there. Hope you've had a great week. I've had a pretty decent one. Can't complain about nothing. So very excited to be able to have this. To all my new subscribers, as I always say, thank you. It means so much. I'm steadily grabbing one, two, three here. So thank you so much for that. Keep in mind, once I get to that 250 subscriber, I'll be giving some kind of contest away. So you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that and see what kind of goodies I might give away for some prizes. But I think with this time, it's time to get ready to show you what I've got. I uh, went to a few places, but ended up getting three titles, three Blu-rays, and um, very excited to show you what I've got. One of them I actually watched, the other two I haven't watched yet. But um, I went to my movie stop. And uh, just couldn't pull the trigger, didn't really see anything that, you know, was kind of making me want to buy anything. So I shot over to Best Buy and found some, I think, some pretty decent deals. But uh, the first one I'm going to show you is a uh, two-pack from Miramax Films. And it's The Darkness and also Below. They had this on sale on Blu-ray for both of them. It's $4.99. And um, I've seen The Darkness, I think, years ago. It's from 2002. And it uh, stars Annika Paquan, or however you call her, from True Blood. Uh, do seem like I remember that one. Uh, Below, I have no clue about. Don't think I've ever seen that one. So very excited to jump in. Like I said, for $4.99, man, you can't go wrong. Very excited to check that one out. And the next one, uh, two reasons why I've got this one. First reason is because it was filmed in Wilmington, North Carolina, where I'm living. So I'm trying to support the films that were filmed here. And uh, kind of cool to watch a movie and be able to kind of pick out where places are at. And there is quite a few scenes in here that I, I've personally been to several times, go to it you know, on a regular basis. But it's a comedy with Melissa McCarthy, and it's called Tammy. Now, this just released. They had it on Blu-ray at Best Buy for $9.99. And it's got the extended cut. Bonus features are gag reels and some different things like that. It was actually pretty entertaining. Uh, this one stars, of course, Melissa McCarthy. Also, Susan Sarandon, Kathy Bates. A lot of people. Got the slip cover case. And uh, this one also has the HD Ultra Code. But uh, it is Tammy, and uh, I thought it was a pretty entertaining film. There again, I have <laughs> seen Melissa McCarthy on a jet ski, man. It is so funny, that scene in that movie, man. It was just hilarious. But um, I noticed quite a few. There's uh, several shots that was downtown Wilmington, and I go there regular. And uh, it was kind of cool to see that on film. But anyways, Tammy, you like it or you don't like it, I don't know. Um... I would do a review on this, and maybe I will in the future, but I typically try to do all my Slash from the Stash movie reviews with horror. Maybe one day I'll do a Tammy one and that, but let me know what you thought of it. I watched it and actually dug it, thought it was pretty good. Although I will say this about Melissa McCarthy. I, I think she's kind of, and I don't mean this mean, but I think she's kind of a one-trick pony, and when I say that, it's like if you've seen one of her movies, you've seen them all. And... Um, Tammy was really entertaining, really funny, but it wasn't as good as like Identity Theft and even Heat with Sandra Bullock. Both of them I thought were a little bit better than this one. But with that said, I still found myself laughing and having a good time with it. So it's Melissa McCarthy, Susan Sarandon, Kathy Bates, and the crew, and it's called Tammy Just Came Out. And the last one I picked up from a Blu rays this week, oh, I, <laughs> kind of a blind buy, but not. Is wrong turn six. There you go, last resort. And um, I know I'll get butchered for this, but I am an absolute fan of these wrong turns. This one being the sixth of the installment. Uh, so you can certainly say, you know, franchise for sure, uh, series, whatever. But I haven't got a chance to watch this one yet. But um, I do love the series as a whole. Although there are some weak ones in it for sure, but still, I just, I love the whole West Virginia, wrong turn, cannibal family and all that. I just dig it, man, and I seem like I can't get enough of it, so I had to add this when I've got the first five. 
Um, I will be watching this one here shortly and maybe doing the review, my slash from the stash uh, for Sunday. I may be doing it on Wrong Turn 6 to let you know what I thought about it. But uh, this one was released by 20th Century Fox. And I didn't mention uh, Tammy was from Warner Brothers, but this one is a 20th Century Fox release. It does have a um, couple features on here I was looking at. Um, you got the inheritance and also all the kills in them hills and Hob Springs, a place to rest in peace. So that's some of your bonus features, but very excited to try to jump into this one and see what it's like and hopefully it'll entertain me and be a good you know kind of cannibalistic flick so this has been my blu-ray update this is the three here you go let me try to get them all in camera here tammy wrong turn six and below <laughs> so my blu-ray update hope you've enjoyed it if you like this video give me a thumbs up definitely comment below if you haven't subscribed please do that and as always uh, if you don't listen to Land of the Creeps and you like horror podcasts or podcasts in general or you've never heard of it and you want to know what a podcast is, highly recommend checking us out at landofthecreeps.blogspot.com. Uh, you can subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, on Stitcher. Uh, we come out every two weeks. So right down below here, there will be a link where you can follow me there and listen to our podcast with myself, Sean Davis, Jesse Robbins. Dr. Shock, man, we try to knock them all out of the park, and we have fun doing it anyways. So definitely check that out. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, which is down here below as well. So with that, this is my Blu-ray collection. This is my little world of horror. And until next week, peace!